Good morning from Splitters Farm. Very exciting news this week as uh, we tell you that we are going to be open seven days. And this is pretty much what we've been aiming for since we started the farm, so we're very excited by that. We also bringing you um, live. <laughs> I've got a new little friend. Can everyone see him? This is Blaze. Hey, Blaze. <laughs> so you might remember the other day we we had a, a, a horse on the loose. It wasn't ours. It was a neighbour's, um, Freddie. And Freddie has now come to permanently live at Splitters. I think he wanted in from the start, <laughs> it seems. But Freddie um, is our neighbour's horse and unfortunately their fences are no, no longer good enough to keep these two in. They also own beautiful Blaze here. Blaze is a Shetland pony. Say hello Blaze. Say hello. And we've just met, haven't we? And I've got some... Um, I've got, I've got some very persuasive carrot sticks in the back of my pants, which is why he's um, following me at the moment. He's got his eyes on my back. <laughs> but we're, we're walking back to our place now, aren't we? Going for a leisurely walk. Because these two have been calling out over the fence and it's um, Freddie's been missing his little, little mate, his little miniature mate. So we're gonna take you to Splitter's farm, aren't we? such a cute little thing. We're not too sure how old he is. We're going to do a bit of research tonight. Aren't you beautiful? Say hello. <laughs> He's going for the carrots. So I'll give you a bit of a look around. This is our neighbour's property. We've got cows adjusted on this property here just so that they've got enough feed during this time we um we really desperately need some rain everything's browning up again and then on this side we have macadamias and we've owned our block since before the macadamias were here oh neighbor's dog got out <laughs> hopefully it doesn't eat me how did you get out buddy i'll have to walk him back later so blazy here's coming to stay at splitters You're gonna be happy seeing your mate Freddie. I think you will. Seems I'm now taking a dog for a walk as well. <gasps> so, quick update on the Mother's Day picnics. We are going gangbusters. <laughs> Uh, thank you everyone who's donated a, a vintage picnic basket. I think with everyone cleaning out their, their cupboards due to COVID, they're coming across a lot of large vintage picnic baskets that are taking up too much room and we've inherited a few in the last week and believe me, we needed them. So thank you. Um, yeah, very excited that we're going to be open seven days a week. So seven days a week uh, from 9.30 in the morning during weekdays till three o'clock in the afternoon which is school picker and on the weekends <laughs> we are going to be open from uh, nine o'clock in the morning and until 5 p.m at night and uh, that's really so people can really come and enjoy the kayaking as well it's a long walk for you isn't it have you walked this far before <laughs> come on We also got Bruce, our bull, back. He's back in with the girls. And we've got them in one of the front paddocks for the weekend so people can see them and feed them. <laughs> Come on, Blaze. He's like, oh, I need another carrot. I need sustenance. <laughs> Who's watching today? Oh, hi, Leanne. Yeah, Blaze is a sweetie. He's a sweetheart. I think he's gonna get along well with our with our girls. Coco and Cinnamon will give him a run for his money. Come on. Come for the carrot. Come for the carrot. T took a lot of convincing, I must admit. Horses um, were the biggest victims of the drought. So when, when everybody wanted to get rid of um, animals off their land to try and keep as much grass as they could, 
horses were the first to go. We were probably getting five phone calls a week during the drought to take in horses and unfortunately we just couldn't because of, um, we, we put the ones we already have in jeopardy. Um, we've just done a harvest of rose grass so we've got plenty of, plenty of food to feed these guys at the moment. But, um, but yeah, it did take a lot of convincing of my husband to take in two more horses because um, he affectionately calls them by names that I can't say on live video. Eaters and, and poopers, let's just say. Come on, Blaze. Come for the carrot. <laughs> it's probably the biggest walk this little pony's done in a little while. Come on, we're going to see your friend Freddy in a minute. So Freddie's calmed down in the last few days since he's been in the top paddock. I think that day that he got out, it was quite windy and I think he was a bit spooked, but he was coming in <laughs> regardless of whether we were going to let him in or not. We, uh, we actually thought he was going to jump the front fence. Matty Munro's on. Hey, Matt. So my beautiful friend Matt is coming out to play some live music on the weekend. We cannot wait. It's going to be such an amazing day. First, uh, first live music that I've heard in, in a long time. So, and I'm sure everyone's in the same boat looking to get out in, in some fresh air and sunshine and listen to a bit of music. And being Mother's Day, I'm sure Maddie's going to play some, you know, some amazing country music, but also maybe some female empowerment songs. <laughs> I think we talked about little Alanis Morissette or something. <laughs> Come on, please. I've got to do this walk again, buddy. I've got to go back and get my quad bike. And take the dog back, which has followed us now. I think he wants to come to Splitters too. When I, when I went to get the, the horse, I thought he was going to eat me. But no, he's, he's ended up being quite friendly as well. Come on. Come on, Blazy. Let's do it. We're going to run, Blaze. Come on. Let's do some running. Come on. Walk on. Walk on. Come on. He's not, he's not having that. Um, if anyone knows, Shetland ponies are incredibly strong-willed. Uh, we used to have one when I was a kid called Teddy. And Teddy was a, a black Shetland pony or a dark brown Shetland pony. And the day that I learnt to canter on Teddy was like the most exciting day of my life because I could go fast on a horse. And mum invited all her friends around in the afternoon to watch me canter on Teddy. And he came roaring down the hill in a canter and then stopped dead flat at the bottom and I went straight over his head <laughs> and nearly broke my collarbone. They are incredibly smart and strong-willed and their personality makes up for their lack in size. They love to get out of fences. I'm painting a gorgeous photo of you, aren't I, right now, Blaze? But I'm pretty sure this is why you're coming to Splitters. Yeah? Um, another thing Teddy did was my, my brother washed his hair with apple shampoo once and Teddy just about ripped his ear off because he could smell the apples in his hair. <laughs> so yeah, he was a terror. But we ended up selling Teddy to a lovely family who had a uh, little boy with Down syndrome because he was going to use him as, in the trots and he ended up like a champion trotter. <laughs> Put a harness on his back and he was, it was almost like he was, you know, the best horse in the on the planet so yeah he ended up being a, a good little Shetland after that come on blaze we're nearly there buddy I can see the gates the golden gates are just ahead and lucky shadow our kelpie is locked up because I'm not sure he's going to get along with this dog that's followed me 
we'll take him back as soon as we uh, we get Blaze settled in with Freddie. Come on, Blazy, come on. We also we already have a, a Blazy. That's the thing when you're taking rescue animals, they they affectionately end up with um, some of the same names. We've got a few chocolates. We've got two Blazies now, don't we? We've only got one shadow though. One shadow Kelpie. <laughs> come on. Once he sees Freddie here, so Freddie's just over here. <laughs> hey Freddie, look who I've got. You hear him calling out to his mate. <laughs> okay. We're gonna run here now, I think. Got some. Ah, we've picked up speed. <laughs> He's very excited and I apologize for my puffing, but I'm trying to keep up with him. <laughs> Come on, please. Come here. Hold on. This is, and this is why we, we've got them back together. <laughs> okay. Please. Okay. We're a bit excited. Oh, look. Best mates. Oh, I see. So as I said, they've been hollering out over the uh, over the fence for the last few days, so we thought it might be a good idea to get them back together. Hold on, I'm just gonna turn the camera around while I get this thing off. Come here, darling. Hold on. Let me lead you in, and then you can go nuts and run around, okay? This is where you've got to be incredibly careful with horses, because they can get a bit kicky and... Okay. They're just checking each other out again. <laughs> As they do. Make sure he's the same horse he left a few days ago. Did you want a carrot, Freddy? Of excitement today two new rescues this week well horses anyway we have taken in a few roosters and a ducks last week but how exciting thanks for coming on a walk with us with me and blaze today i'm gonna go and drop this loose cannon where have you come from <laughs> i'll drop him home wherever he's come from but otherwise, yeah, thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you if you are coming out on the weekend. Look at the alpacas trying to work out what's going on. Christina and Ella, what's going on? <laughs> Not there out of here. Okay, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.